In Onshape, you can export sketches, parts, part studios, assemblies, and drawings, all from the right mouse button. Let's take a look at how to do that. Normally though, the easiest way to share objects with people is with the share button, but sometimes you need to share objects with people outside of Onshape. So let's take a look at how to do that. Here I have a part studio open. Here we have a sketch. Let's say I want to export this. I can right click on it and choose export as DXF DWG. Here we have the dialog box that opens up. You can choose the file name. Then we have the format. You can export as a DXF or a DWG. And depending on what you choose, then you can specify the version that you want to use for exporting it. And here we have the options drop down list. And you will typically have these four different options whenever you are exporting. So the first one that you have here is download. It does what it says. You are going to be able to download this object to a file outside of Onshape onto your local computer. Then let's take a look at the last option, store the file in a new tab. So it will end up generating the DXF file or DWG and then put it in another tab in this very Onshape document. That way you have a copy of it. Then we have one that does both of those steps, downloads the object to a local file and also creates it as a new tab in your current document. And now here we have email with file download link. When I click on that, it opens up the form. You can edit the subject and the message. You can specify how long that the link will last for people. You can require a password or not and fill in the password. And you can see that we also have this option here to send me a copy. If I change the options drop down list back to download, then you can see another couple of options in here. You can export splines as polylines and the one that's checked by default, set the Z height to zero and normals to positive. And then if you were to click the export button, well, here we have the dialog box that allows me to specify what to do with the file. I could choose save file and the way that I have Firefox set up, it's just going to dump it into my downloads folder. Next, let's take a look at downloading a part. So here I have the crankshaft part. I will select it and then right click and here we have export. And since this is a part, well, you have different formats available to you. So for example, right now it is set to export it as a parasolid, but you also have options like step. If I choose step, well, right now it's just supporting AP214. Then we have IGIS, and we can choose from here at SolidWorks as well. And then we have STL. And STL, that's what you're going to use typically if you want to 3D print this, and you can change stuff like what you want the units to be and also the resolution. Let me cancel out of here. Now I am in a part studio with multiple parts. To export these, just click the ones that you want and then right click and we can choose export. And there we have the same dialog box where you could choose what you want to export them as. And here we have the option to always use the latest. And you could also export unique parts as individual files. Again, this helps if you are choosing an option like STL, you want to 3D print them. You can get these as individual files to facilitate printing them. All right, let's cancel out of here. Similarly, if you want to export the entire part studio, just right click on the tab and choose export. And again, same dialog box. And let's cancel out of there. This time I am in an assembly. If you want to export the assembly, just click on the assembly and choose export. Once again, you have the same options for exporting parts and part studios. Lastly, exporting drawings, same as before. Hey, just right click on the object, choose export. And for the drawing, we have the choices of PDF, DWG, DXF, and DWT. Depending on the format that you choose, you have the version that you can specify. You can do all sheets or the current sheet. And then there are options if you want to show or hide underlines for overridden dimensions, whether you want to export text as text or polylines. And again, our different options for how you want to export this out. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit 
www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.